Previously on Sailing Cerebral. Every day I wake up with a smile on my face. I'm just really happy to be here. It's a dream. We lost the ladies. I think a government is about to be overthrown. No crew has learned this fast or been this quick on being able to sail the boat themselves. And I attribute that to intelligence and or effort and or determination. Other way. Yep. There you go. <laughs> All right, maybe not. <laughs> Quiet dinner on the uh, on the boat as well. Some tacos, I think. I think we're gonna do some tacos. So, good end of the day. Uh, between the pitons, and apparently we're going on a little excursion. I was not made aware of. So I'm just hustling, getting my stuff together real quick. But I'm happy. It's gonna be fun. Soufriere smells like sulfur because it's by a volcano apparently. The smell of sulfur. Interesting town. <laughs> we haven't seen much of it yet, but a lot of people trying to sell us stuff. I don't have any money. I'm giving you a flower. Yeah, but I don't have money. That's very nice. Oh, it's not a gift? I have nothing in my bag. And the girl who is allergic to cats is once again petting cats. I'm still trying to convince Captain to get a cat on the boat. I feel like we should have a cat and Cody and Zuko think the same. We should have a sailing cat with us. That, they, that's amazing. We should have that, yeah, for sure. So I'm trying to convince Captain to have pepperoni. The cat whisperer. Right now in St. Lucia, it feels like we're in the rainforest. It's like lush, green, Terrain. It looks like paradise. I think this is one of the most beautiful islands we've been to so far. All right, we're going to get a mud bath. It smells nasty. Time for the actual mud. Rub it into your skin, Cody. Rub it in a little bit more. Exfoliate your skin. Okay. Good for my skin. It like removes the dead skin. Okay. So your skin is tough and moisturized. Absolutely. Some power. I'm not like in a mudslide to the face. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's got to be around 100 because it feels like any hot tub I've ever been in. So it's fantastic. Honestly, I'm I'm getting too tired. Though. I'm about to get out and take a shower. That's cool. It's the volcano. Yeah. Yeah, that's where it's being heated. I got steam off the volcano. Feel that steam over there. A river runs through it. Take it. Brad Pitt. In film school, like I had class between like eight to twelve, and then I had like the afternoon free, and I was just like go home and nap like the whole afternoon. I would like ruin my days. I don't know why I did that, because all my friends were like in different schools, and they had like classes. Later. Like all the time, so I was like, I had nobody to hang out with. Like I was just okay. Like I just, I'm just going to sleep. So every day I was like sleeping during the day. That was yeah. terrible. Yeah, that does not sound fun. Yeah, no. All right, you next. <laughs> My ass feels like it's gonna hit. <laughs> <laughs> if I had another slip. <laughs> Tour guide's mad because <laughs> you're being cheap. <laughs> Better pay up or they rob your shit. All your shit, here they go. To be honest, I do get uh, tired of it. Um, and sometimes I wake up and go, is this what I want to be doing? I don't know. I, I don't love it as much as you might think. And I, I knew going in that I was just you know, trading a whole bunch of land issues for a whole bunch of sea issues. I mean, I, I, went, into it with, I went into it with my eyes open, uh, but there has to, you have to get something out of it. And so what we get out of it is going to new locations, seeing new things. And when that becomes old, you know, why are you out here? Why are you putting this much effort in? So, yeah. 
I'm so happy to be up here right now, challenging ourselves. And we're pushing ourselves right now. This is fantastic. This is awesome stuff. Proud of everybody. That's how the pros do it, baby. That's it. Woo! <laughs> Tight fit, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hey everybody, you can see the uh, cerebral sabbatical all the way down there, living its best life. Yeah, I loved it. This was a great hike. It was nothing like the hike from hell. Much different, much, much different. different. Much different, much, much better though. This is a very nice place. Sugar Beach Resort by Viceroy. If you have tons of extra cash on hand, it's worth checking out. Wow, Captain, you let her get a point on you. Oh my God. This place is incredible. We want to stay here. We want to get married here. We want to live here. Like you can just leave us here for the rest of the season and we would be very happy about it. Captain and Joe are in a very intense game of ping pong right now. This is it's vicious, oh. and they're Did both. You that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're both kind of good. I don't know how. Oh, oh, oh! Not the word I use to describe it. I think they're both good. No. Oh my god! That was like a kill shot. <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually at the beach having fun. Captain gave us some fries and pizza, and we are the happiest girl on earth right now. <laughs> it's so nice. Look at this view. I'm gonna go and check us out of the country, which I think I have to go into Sofre. Sofre. On the dinghy? On the dinghy. Ooh. So that's the question if you guys want to hang here while Cody and I do that or if you want to come with. Mm, I don't know. Do you need help? Like, no. do you need us specifically? Not really, unless you want to go to the grocery store. Um, I'm uh, just going to I'm gonna make Cody wait at the dinghy because there's a lot of crime there. So we've gotten further away from the U.S., from the Bahamas, U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, BBI, yeah, it's been a little more riskier every as we go further south. The countries tend to get a little poorer and people are a little more desperate about uh, making ends meet and, and maybe taking things uh, that aren't there. So we lock the dinghy, we do, I mean, we never used to even close the door. They had no idea how to close the door. What, what do you have? Joint. No, it's joint. Oh, joint. joint? Yeah. Honestly, I don't think I need any joints right now. Come on, you, you, you got to go to two joint, man. You know, last, last time I was here, you were trying to sell fish, though. Yeah, oh, well, that's you. You got any fish? In the back there? Yeah. They just arrested someone in those trucks there with a couple guns. Apparently, the guy uh, raped a woman a couple days ago on a beach here. A little sketchy. All right, all right, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank Enjoy. you. Yeah, right. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Right. Have a good one all. Well, we got some fish. So, I don't know anything about fish. I don't know anything about island bartering. I don't know if I just got ripped off, but whatever. I got some fish, which is what Captain wanted. Um, yeah, he came up to me, offered me some weed, which I didn't want. But we compromised and I bought fish off him, so. taking down the mainsail now at our first stop here in St. Vincent and uh, find a place to check in. He's saying this isn't a good spot. We should go over there. Captain wants us to stay here. I don't care. I'm keeping an eye on the uh, dinghy while the others go check us in. We're at 
customs. It's kind of like an abandoned building. That's the volcano. Oh, the volcano. Kit! 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 What? So we tried to go to the custom to check in, but there was no one in the custom office, like literally no one. So we then went to the police station and they said that we need to go to another place to check in. Here it's not possible and the place is literally at the other side of the island. Or maybe we'll go to another beach that's more close and before sunset. So we'll see. But this place here looks really um, poor. I hate to say that, but you can you can feel that the people here are not really rich. And uh, yeah. Apparently, where we're going, it's a unique anchoring system where you also have to tie off on a palm tree. So this should be interesting. This is our destination. All right. Drop the anchor. Just dropped a hundred feet of chain. That's uh, the most we've dropped. See, Wesley took that line into the shore, tied it off on a tree, keep us from moving too much, and it keeps us in the same area. I didn't free this one up yet, but I think it's clear. Yeah, you're a good crew. <laughs> good looking crew is what you mean. Uh -huh. Done this before. What would be the uh, yeah. real? We have an ass bridle. Yeah. <laughs> So we're almost at Beckway in the Grenadines, just south, south, south of St. Vincent. And we're feeling that vibrating again. And it's coming from the starboard side because he shut the engine off and it disappeared. So it has something to do with the starboard prop, engine, something, something over there is vibrating. And it, ha it started to happen after we went through that massive um, seaweed field with the engines running. So something got caught, something got I don't know, I shouldn't speculate too much, but once we get the Beckway, we'll jump down in there probably and assess and see what's up. But uh, another little problem on our hands. We are about to anchor no more. We don't know yet, and it's raining. It's raining. Not the best. And Captain is cleaning the boat with this rainwater. And now! <laughs> <laughs> so you think you used to be so fine? So you think you can look 